Hi amigas, welcome back to my channel, Siguiendo Lex. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys a nighttime get ready with me, concert vibes, date, whatever you wanna call it, baby. This is a look for you if you wanna slay the rest of the night, period. You want eyes to be giving, this is the look. You want people to be watching you, this is the look, baby. Stay tuned. Okay, girlies. The first thing I did was do my eyebrows, put some concealer, foundation on my forehead. And um, the first product I'm gonna be going in with is this BH Studio Pro concealer in the color white. Sometimes using white could really help that color stand out. Damp Beauty Blender. Now that the white and the concealer is blended together, as you can see right here, I feel like the trick for a long lasting eyeshadow is always going to be a tacky base. Always, always, always. That's gonna just have your eyeshadow stick all night long. So I'm gonna be going in with this angled brush um, from Morphe, the style E11. It's just condensed, it's angled, I love it. And I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe palette, the 39A palette. I love this palette, like, look at that. Beautiful. Now that the color is packed on, every time you want to cut your crease or you kind of want to create like a, a look that's like really detailed and you know, it's all about the lines and the curves, you always want to start off with an angle brush. Make sure you're holding it at the bottom. So this is where you have like less, con it's not like as hard and stiff right here. It's a little less looser, but it's easier to work with. So looking straight into your mirror, and kind of just sketching it out. This is gonna work especially if you have hooded eyes, like looking straight into the mirror and letting the brush kind of just do all the work. Okay, I just laid the shape down. That's it, I have not blended. It looks a little light, so I am gonna go in with a darker brown. I just want to start off like with a really dark brown base. And then you always blend it out with like lighter colors. Same way I'm holding the brush from down here. I have not cleaned it, I'm following the same shape. Yeah, that's the color I'm looking for, it's darker. Now that I have laid my shape down with the dark color, I have not blended at all, I'm going to be going in with this smaller taper brush and also in with a lighter color. So for the blending, same, I'm holding the brush at the same um, spot and I'm just gonna start right here doing circular motions. Just trust the process. I know it looks scary. Throw some windshield wiper motions in there. Circular windshield. And I'm staying on the line. You can see that I'm staying like on the initial outline of what I have done. Right here at the corner, just windshield wiper motions longer. And kind of just let that color blow out. I, mean, I am gonna get a little closer to get a little more precise and do that circular motion. How you guys hold your brush is also going to help you out with the looks. If you're just holding the brush in the same spot the whole time, it's not going to help you out. Like It's always where you hold it, how you angle your brush. If you want a lighter, feathery, more smoky, you're going to hold the brush out, you know, the furthest at the bottom of it. Always like kind of have it like pointing up and little scratching or windshield, whatever. This right here is also going to help it blow it out and it's just going to be easier right here, like where you want to concentrate a color, right here. It's going to take a long time, but do it. So now that I kind of have it semi blended out, I'm going to be getting a fluffier brush. This is um, from BH Cosmetics V5 in the style V5. Same palette, I'm going to be grabbing a lighter shade, this one. Really pack that color on there. I'm holding the brush down here and this little space that I left open alongside the top, 
that's where this color is going to come in. And just super soft, like right here. Yes, the eyeshadow's right there. It's okay. It's going to look bomb. Instead of using this one the whole entire time, you can grab a, a little fluffier brush. And this one is from the same brand, BH Cosmetics V15. It's in the same collection as this one. So with this one right here, I'm going to be going in with that second color, the one I used to blend out that initial outline. Okay, so this time I added a teensy tiny bit, like I literally like tapped the brush super fast into the black. I always start off, if I add black to my brush because I want to make it darker, I always start off at the outer corner first to kind of let all that like dark extra powder right here and then I drag it inward. For this to blend out the black, I am going to be using this brush and just scratch it grab it i'm gonna go a little closer because i want more control to get to the top part for right here i'm scratching sideways or back and forth now i turn my brush inward and i'm gonna be blending out this top part right here just softly, like just barely scratch it. Okay, amigas, so you guys saw how I stopped the black midway right here. No matter what, that black is still going to be dragged in because you are doing windshield wiper motions. And it just doesn't make it as heavy like the darkness in the inner corner. You kind of always want to keep that light unless you have like a, a black smoky eye going on. And I kept this empty for a reason. Okay guys, so now that I have blended everything out, I'm going to be going in with that same brush that I used to apply the white concealer and I'm going to cut the crease. Okay, so to set it, I'm just gonna be using, grabbing the whitest or lightest color you have. The next step for this look is going to be grabbing an eyeliner. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner, the best. Okay, I'm switching to the e.l.f. one because that one's dry and it sucks and it's pissing me off. Um, yeah, so I'll continue with the eyeliner. Okay, girlies, I have the eyeliner. So now it's pretty thick, but it's for a reason. I'm gonna be using this glitter glue from NYX. I'm gonna put some a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going in with this gold. Now, I am gonna go back into the actual eye look. Now that I have like the bottom completed, I want that outline to be just darker. A little bit of black and just start blending. Next up is going to be mascara. Um, so I did put a little bit of eyeliner underneath right here to kind of redefine it. And then I'm going to grab some eyeshadow that does have black and brown and blend that out. Okay guys, going in with some lashes with my trusty star glue and the color dark. And this one is waterproof. A good tip when you guys are going to be putting on your lashes for beginners, we'll always wait until that lash glue kind of gets tacky. So when you place it down, you have more control and it's not slipping, sliding, glue's not going on everywhere, the look is not ruined, you're not pissed, you know, I'm saving y'all. Wow, a lash always makes the look for me. So for this little empty black spot, a little bit of eyeliner. So now that I'm done with the first eye, now it's time to recreate on this side. Okay. 
Okay guys, so now I have completed my eyes. Guys, so now I have completed my eyes. And let's move on to the face. My go-tos. This is a Charlotte Tilbury foundation. She is a long wearing. She's full coverage. She's your biggest dream. The same contour stick. Okay, so here I'm just blending out my cream contour, the Morphe stick. Then I'm applying some e.l.f. concealer just to bring some highlights back into my face. I blend everything out. And then I'm going to bake my face with some airspun powder. And then here I just ensure everything's nice and blended. I'm going in back with the same first two shades. The next shade is gonna be like that medium shade and I'm just gonna drag that one all the way in. And that lightest shade, just kind of like go through it through like the entire bottom of it, but kind of keep it close, as close as you can to your eye. And that's just gonna like give it that whole look. Okay, cause the foundation lips is not cute. I'm gonna add a mascara. Here, I'm just applying some mascara to my eyebrows just to kind of set them. So for the inner corner, I'm dipping into this one, which is like a glitter one. And also this one right here. This one is calling my name. I do like to go in with my trusty face powder. Here, I'm going in with the Tarte princess park avenue palette just to contour my face i don't bake for too long like literally i just brush it on and brush it right off get the brush get the beauty blender and blend around it for sure For blush today, it's going to be this matte color in the shade New Romance. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. I should use it more. For my blush, I always smile and I just pat it and go up. Okay, for lips, I'm going to be using um, this NYX professional lip pencil in the color nude truffle and i'm going to be using this ofra lipstick okay guys this is the final look let me know what you guys think about it Okay, amigas, now I'm just going to get dressed and get ready to go to this concert with my family. And I'll maybe put some little snippets of us having fun. Happy birthday.